Hey guys, I got to take an early look at a game from the makers of Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive. It's called Wanted Dead. This is a third person slasher shooter that actually follows Lieutenant Hannah Stone and the zombie unit in a week of their life when it comes to work and life outside of work. This is a very unique title. I wasn't sure what to completely expect jumping in. The trailer for this game showed some pretty intense action, a lot of dismemberment and gore, so this one probably isn't for the kids. But the setting for this game is a cyberpunk dystopian Hong Kong, which I mean we've seen done a few other times before, but honestly Wanted Dead made this one look pretty good. Visually I thought this game looked really nice, whether you were in combat or some of the cutscenes, whether it was the anime cartoons or just the normal cutscenes, I really enjoyed some of the, you know, comedic banter between the characters. I mean there isn't, you know, too much depth here as far as these characters are concerned but they kept it light you know at face value you're you know you're getting what you want out of it and and i certainly enjoyed that and i think you know the audio whether you were just talking about the voiceovers were done pretty well but just even the music used within the game i thought was done very well and when you kind of couple that with the graphics it was a really pleasant experience i did i did very much enjoy it i thought you know my playthrough up to this point was very good you know didn't have too many graphics issues you know there's some clipping here and there but overall it has been pretty good and you know the only other thing I got to talk about you know that you know has a bit me kind of split a little bit is the controls here I think the controls for this game were fairly well done you kind of have this auto cover where you just kind of run up to something and you'll duck down behind it automatically which I thought was pretty cool you don't have to toggle anything you can shoot from behind the cover you can jump up and down and kind of you know get your aim going that way because you do get to carry a primary weapon plus your sidearm pistol which is what you kind of use when you're in the hand-to-hand -hand combat so I kind of enjoyed the fact that you had a couple weapons to choose from you can pick up enemy weapons as well but the combat overall was kind of a nice play between the close combat and the ranged combat the only thing I'd probably have to complain about is my sensitivity with the shooting whether you're at, at a distance with the assault rifle at least at the beginning of the game I had a bit of a tough time with it I had to kind of dial that in a little bit so there was a bit of a tweak adjustment there but once I kind of found my sweet spot it, it was pretty good it felt smooth uh, the the enemies felt fairly spongy so I found myself kind of moving in close using my sword and handgun in combination and, and getting over these you know awesome finishers there's 50 plus different finishers in this game which I think is pretty cool and that's what really adds to this I mean like I said earlier there's quite a bit of gore here as far as blood there's quite a bit of dismemberment as well so this one isn't for the young crowd but at the same time it looked really good they did a good job here it's what makes the combat fun so overall between the graphics the audio and the combat i really enjoyed everything in this package they've given us here Now for some of the things I didn't quite love about this game, one of them being the weapon customization. So you get to unlock some attachments for your weapons as you go through this game. And honestly, they don't visually change up your gun too much other than some scopes and different magazines and things like that. But you can change the color of the skins, you get some along the way. But it's just a very basic setup that I feel like really wasn't necessarily needed. Maybe more thought could have been put into the skill tree. The skill tree is also pretty basic. It's nothing we haven't seen before in games. So it was just a few details I kind of noticed right away where I was like, ah, it would have been nicer to see maybe you know, a little more of a unique take on it. Because this game is a lot different than what we're currently playing right now. So, you know, I was just you know, complaining more so, but at the same time, it's nothing new here. So you're not going to be surprised by anything they lay out here. Another thing I ran into was the difficulty of this game. I'm playing on normal. They also have hard and a mode called Japanese hard. And let me tell you, even in normal, this game is difficult. You're going to have to get used to the controls. You're going to have to get used to the, the enemies you're fighting and their weaknesses to understand what you can do to kind of run through these battles without taking too much damage because it can get overwhelming pretty fast because the enemies also use hand-to-hand -hand weapons and guns as well. So you're dealing with the balance of a lot of that. So difficulty isn't going to be for everybody here, especially when you can't really dial it down at all. The kind of boss battles in this one are very difficult as well. So that's just something I kind of noticed and I was like, mm, this isn't going to be for everybody just based on that alone. No. Black faces. 
my time with Wanted Dead has been good. I've really enjoyed it. Like I said, graphically, audio-wise, even the controls I found to be pretty solid for this game, and I've enjoyed my experience thus far. The difficulty level and some of the kind of basic skill tree and weapon customization stuff brings the experience down a little bit, but honestly, it is still fairly rewarding, especially when you get through some of those boss battles. So I've got to give this one a 7 out of 10. My experience with this one has been good. I don't think it's going to be for everybody, but it doesn't mean it's not a solid game. So if you're looking for a good slasher shooter, you got to check out Wanted Dead.